one of the most frequent questions I'm asked is where do I draw my style inspiration from? The answer is it's usually Pinterest. So today I'm going to show you how to recreate Pinterest inspired outfits from this lady coat cardigan. For this first outfit, I do not know who the woman is in the photo or who the model is, and I wasn't able to find out on Pinterest. So if you know who it is, let me know. I would like to give them credit in the video here. But it's just the lady coat cardigan styled with jeans and a pair of black toed heels. What I love about these heels, let me start with that. Not only are they the chicest pair of shoes I own, but they're one of the most comfortable. These are marketed as running heels because they're that kind of comfortable. But it's just the lady coat, jeans, and a black handbag, simple chic at its finest. This next outfit was also inspired by Lindsay Morrison in part. Just a simple black top and black trousers underneath the lady coat cardigan. Now Lindsay showed wide leg black trousers and let me be clear here on something. I love wide leg trousers. I'm barely five foot one and I can wear them. So don't tell me that you're too short to wear them. They're very chic, very elegant, but frankly, I just get a little tired of the complaints about them. It doesn't change my style at all if you complain about the wide leg pants. I'm still wearing them, and I'm going to wear them here in just a moment. But give them a consideration. If they're not for you, here are some black ankle pants. So I took Lindsay Morrison's base outfit and was expired to expand upon it by a pin posted by Bella Style Living. And that was simply just to throw a lightweight trench coat over it for those rainy days in spring when it might be a little chillier than usual. Very chic, very polished. This next pin is also from Lindsay Morrison. And I love how she took the base outfit and just switched up a piece to make it look totally different. So she simply threw the sweater over her shoulders, gave it a little knot and changed out the shoes from the loafers to ballet flats to give it a more late spring, early summer feel. Very chic, has that European style feel to it, and I love this look.
this outfit was inspired by Olivia Miller. She is here on YouTube. She has a substantial YouTube channel and she's one of my favorite YouTubers. Her style is that European old money feel and I really love it. Very classic and elegant. But we certainly switched out the black on black base for a white on white base and then put the lady coat over it. What really surprised me about the way she styled this outfit is that she went with the cognac brown handbag. It's not something I would have done myself, so I tried it, stepped out of my comfort zone and tried it, and I really like the way this look came together. This next outfit was inspired by Caroline at My Chic Obsession. I love her so much that I, ha I subscribe to her newsletter just to get her fashion tips and style insights. And I'm going with wide leg trousers here. Again, I love them. I am barely five foot one and I'm able to wear them. These are Amazon wide leg trousers in a light color for spring and summer and also in a petite length. Very elegant that European style of dressing. And if wide leg pants are not for you, that's totally okay. You don't have to wear them, but I don't need to hear about it. And after drawing in all of this Pinterest inspiration for these lady coat cardigan outfits, this outfit is actually original and inspired by me. I wanted to pair it with just a simple black satin slip skirt for a very elegant late spring, early summer feel. And the straw tote makes it a little more casual. I'm throwing it over my shoulder here for those days where it gets a little warmer. Until we meet again, my friends.